high. Let us learn about basics of calibration and all about weighing balance calibration as questions which can be asked in interviews. What is calibration? The set of operations under specified conditions which establish the relationship between measured values of instrument and the corresponding known values of standard. What can be calibrated and which cannot be calibrated? Equipment or machine processing the work is not calibrated. For example, the blender used for blending the materials. Rapid mixer granulator used for mixing the materials are not calibrated as these blender or rapid mixture granulators are equipments used for performing some operation or work. Calibration can be performed for instrument or system which can measure data. For example, thermometers which measures temperature and hygrometers which measures humidity should be calibrated. The instrument weighing balance used for weight measurement during manufacturing or packing or analysis can be calibrated. Why did the instruments are calibrated? To ensure the reliability or consistency of the instrument all critical instruments should be calibrated. For example, if you are measuring the weight of the standard for analysis there should be trust on the reliability of weighing balance used for weighing the standard or sample. To establish that reliability weighing balance should be calibrated. Let us see another example. Say you are doing analysis and in that you have to take some solution and it is to be heated up to 65 degrees Celsius. While heating the solution the temperature should be measured by using thermometer. If the thermometer is not calibrated, you cannot confirm whether the thermometer is showing right temperature or not. Hence calibration is very much required not only for our internal assurance but also to meet GMP guidelines such as ICHQ7, Udrelex Volume 4 and Use for the 21 CFR etc. Why did the balances are calibrated? Calibrated balance is trusted to give accurate results where it may not by the balance which is not calibrated. To get the confidence or reliability on measurement results given by the balance the weighing balance should be calibrated. At which times the balance is verified or what is the frequency for verification of balance? The balance should be verified for its working condition or operating condition on daily basis before starting weighing on it. That means the balance should be used for weighing only after confirming its successful daily verification. If the balance daily verification is failed, the balance should not be used for weighing until the problem is rectified. What is daily verification or daily calibration of balance? In daily verification whether the balance is measuring the weight correctly or not. Whether the balance is in working condition or operating condition is verified by weighing at least two standard weights within the balance operating range. For example if the operating range of balance is 10 grams to 1 kg. The balance can be verified by putting at least 10 grams and 1 kg weight. The balance can be verified by weighing 10 grams 500 grams and 1000 grams also. That means the balance working condition should be verified by confirming the weight of minimum two standard weights or known weights. If the balance measured the weight correctly then the balance is said to be verified successfully. For example if suppose, the balance PAL001 capacity is 1 kg and its operating range is 10 gram to 1 kg is calibrated by using 10 grams, 500 grams and 1000 grams and the observed weights are within the tolerance limit. The balance is said to be calibrated or verified successfully. If the observed results are out of tolerance limit, the balance is said to be out of calibration for daily verification.
What is the frequency for calibration of weighing balance? Depending on the criticality of the instrument used the frequency for balance calibration should be decided by the individual. For example, if the weighing balance is used for analysis of batch or used for weighing of raw materials for the batch the balances should be calibrated at least monthly. For suppose the balance is used for weighing the weight of secondary packing materials the frequency of calibration can be increased to bi-monthly or quarterly etc. In the same way the frequency of balance calibration shall be decided based on quality risk assessment. What is the tolerance limit for the weighing balance? Tolerance limit for weigh balances is the acceptable limits or range in measurement that can be tolerated. What is the operating range of balance? Operating range of the balance is there. Range of lowest value at which the balance will give an accurate enough reading and the maximum capacity of the balance provided by the manufacturer. What is the capacity of the balance? Capacity of the weighing balance is the maximum weight that can be measured on the balance provided by the manufacturer of the instrument. What are the main steps involved in weighing balance calibration? The steps involved in balance calibration are verification of accuracy, repeatability and eccentricity. What is accuracy? Accuracy is a measure of closeness of displayed weight to the actual weight on the weighing pan. What is repeatability? Repeatability is the ability to display the same value when a weight is placed on a scale more than one time. What is eccentricity? Eccentricity is an error related to variations in the positioning of weights on the pan. Generally during weighing the weight is placed at the center of the pan. If the weight is placed at the corners or other than at the center of the balance during weighing and the balance is showing any error variation in the measured weight that error or weight variation is called the eccentricity. For example if some 50 grams of weight is placed at the center of the balance and is showing 50 grams and when the same weight placed at the left top corner and showing 51 grams then the eccentricity of the balance is 1 gram. How did the accuracy of the balance can be calibrated? Accuracy of the balance can be performed by weighing minimum two standard weights. Those standard weights should be minimum and maximum weights of the balance operational range that means. If the balance capacity is 1 kg and its operating range is 1 gram to 1 kg then the balance should be calibrated using 1 gram and 1 kg known weights for accuracy. The observed weights are compared to the standard weight and the percentage difference is calculated. If the percentage difference is within the tolerance limit, the balance is said to be within calibration for accuracy. For example if suppose, the balance below 01 capacity is 1 kg and its operating range is 10 gram to 1 kg tolerance limit is 010 percentage, and is calibrated by using 10, 250, 500, 750 and 1000 grams and observe actual weights then calculate difference in standard weight and actual weight the calculate percentage difference if that percentage limits are within tolerance limit then the balance is said to be within calibration for accuracy How did the eccentricity of the balance can be calibrated? Eccentricity tests should be performed for at least one individual standard weight and by placing the weight in different possible positions like left top right top left bottom and right bottom as shown in the diagram. Example if suppose for 
The balance PAL-001 capacity is 1 kg and its operating range is 10 g to 1 kg. Desired smallest net weight is 0.1 g and its limit for uncertainty is not more than 1. And suppose 500 g standard weight is weighed for 10 times. The standard deviation of those 10 results is 0.007. The uncertainty is calculated by the formula 2 times standard deviation into 100 divided by desired smallest net weight and the uncertainty found 0.82. Since the uncertainty result 0.82 is within the tolerance limit not more than 1. Hence the balance is said to be within calibration for repeatability. How did the eccentricity of the balance can be calibrated? Eccentricity tests should be performed for at least one individual standard weight and by placing the weight in different possible positions like left top right top left bottom and right bottom as shown in the diagram. The difference and percentage difference in observed weights for center to the other position is calculated. If the percentage difference is within the tolerance limit the balance is said to be within the calibration for eccentricity. Is the standard weights are also required to be calibrated what is the frequency for calibration of standard weights? Yes the standard weights should be calibrated at least annually. How to handle standard weights? Wear clean cotton gloves or use forceps while handling reference weights. To avoid depositing oil and dirt onto the surface of the weight do not touch weights with bare hands store reference weights in cases provided by the manufacturer. What are the other situations in which balance calibration is required to be calibrated? After preventive maintenance or breakdown maintenance and when relocated the balance from one place to other. What can be done if the balance is found out of calibration? If the balance is found out of calibration the balance should be identified as out of calibration and do not use. And the service engineers are informed for rectifying the problem. After maintenance or service the balance should be recalibrated. What are the requirements for locating or placing weighing balance? Balance should be placed on a stable and leveled surface with minimal vibration areas with excessive heat or moisture. Direct sunlight. Chemical vapors and drafts should be avoided at the weighing balance. When should be the weighing balances are cleaned? Weighing balance should be cleaned before and after every usage of the instrument. Thank you.